All yeah. right, y'all. We come into you with this public service announcement. <laughs> Please yeah. like, subscribe, and share. <laughs> We're not asking for no money. We don't have our cash apps up here. We just want you to like, subscribe, and share. When she said. <laughs> What's going on, y'all? It's another episode of Minding Your Biz. It's I'm one of your co-hosts, Dr. Black Wealth, and we have... Hello, it's Mrs. Fab Financial. Gotta hype me up, you. hype me up. Coming at you. All right. What's up? Listen, we talking about <laughs> trust. That's right. Moving that money. Yeah. Protecting the money. Holding the money. Holding the money, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Getting the trust fund kids together. That's right. Right? In the trust. I so, first heard that on Bad Boys. Oh, trust fund? <laughs> Trust he was monkey. like, I'm a, I'm a, what he said, uh, uh, Mike, I got real world stuff to deal with. My dad ain't leave me no trust fund. <laughs> Listen, one, I went to high school with a girl who, that was my first introduction to a trust fund kid, the, a girl I went to high school with. Her father passed away when she was young mm-hmm. and she was getting super, super excited because when she turned 18, we were in high school, she got access to the trust. Oh. And so he released a certain amount of money to her yeah. upon graduating high school. Sure. Well, that summer, we had a time. Do you hear me? <laughs> she, per- she got her a drop-top Volvo. I didn't oh. even know they had such a thing. We was, or it was a Sob. Back I think it was day, a Sob. It was those. white. It was drop-top. Yeah. We had a time. Do you hear me? And um, it- Is she building? You know her now? I don't. I hope she's not broke. I hope not either. Carly, <laughs> that was my girl, the Carly girl, if you out there. That was the first time I heard Trust Fund. And really? I was like, L- I got to get to that. You I mean, but, right? Where was that? What's, how do you get to that? It come with a little pain. <laughs> <laughs> but hers came out of, of course, the um, her father passing. For sure. So, um, Slight pain. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but yes, yeah, so I was like, okay, I got to research this trust thing. So it was always in the back of my mind as I got, as I grew and got older because certain amounts of money was released to her mm-hmm. at different periods in her life. Mm-hmm. So, of course, when you're younger, you don't have the financial education. Mm-hmm. You spend, sometimes you're a little bit more wasteful. But I I feel like up until my late, in my mid-20s, I still was in contact with her. And I think she moved to Texas or something. But money was released to her throughout periods where mm-hmm. I feel like it was able to sustain and give her a new jump start when she kind of screwed up or something. For sure. But, yeah. That was my first introduction to trust fund. No, that's that's yeah. a good story. I, you know, this might be real dramatic, but I think of business um, from a warfare mindset. Um, like if we was to watch Game of Thrones, you know, they go to the war room to plan out. Like, hey, yeah. we about to go down to such and such. You coming underneath, yeah. you coming around, yeah, you they're moving in, the pieces around, moving the pieces. Strategy. So when you think about building business and money, it's really a strategy session on how to do it. And I think most people don't realize like how powerful working on the business versus in the business is. Because there's different levels to it. Yeah. So once we have cu- accumulated money or we mastered the skill of making money, we gotta do twice the amount of work to protect it. Right. So a lot of people, when we think about the Rockefeller method, some people may call it the waterfall method of how to actually do it, which I'll break it down here shortly. But the key that most people miss, I think, is the fact that you have to understand that Rockefeller came in with his brother and bought the oil industry. I think I talked about this before. Right. Bought into the oil industry and dominated the oil industry. And because of the fact that he made so much money in oil, he had to have a full-time job on how his money to make money, protect his money. That's how the trust came into play. Actually, he built the foundation, but we'll take that for another video. Yeah. But um, the foundations is where it's at. For sure. You, <laughs> I think so. That's too. where the money's at. <laughs> foundations fund nonprofits. So anyway, trust. So there, at the basic level, though, there's two types, right? Without getting into all the... Uh, you know, there are private trusts, there are statutory trusts and non-statutory trusts. I'm going to leave the non-statutories alone for right now. Them private trust gurus out there, I salute you. At the statutory level, there's a non-revocable trust or irrevocable trust and a revocable trust, right? 
irrevocable within a definition means it just can't be reversed. It can't like be removed. Like writing in pen. Yeah. So once you put it in there, it stays. Yeah. Uh, there's no taking nothing out. You can add to it, but there's no taking nothing out of it. Um, and then there's revocable trusts, which are the most common ones, which are the ones I suggest if you are still living and building, um, where you can move assets in and out of there. You know, simple terms. Today you can like your kids. Tomorrow you cannot. <laughs> Today you like can writing put something. It in pencil. Writing in pencil. <laughs> right, and you can erase yeah, it. Yeah, I like for that. Sure, it's like writing in pencil. Or I'm gonna scratch it out. Yep. I'm gonna take it back. But the trust is um a- another way that you can, of course, um pass down wealth is estate planning it's all the things that you want to protect what you have in a way that the government is not in your business right it's almost like a seamless way to protect a seamless way to pass down wealth um without pulling back all the curtains for everybody to know what you have going on and it's it's a it's like a policy and procedure on how you um, want certain things done if you do pass, right? So um, it's very directional. It's very instructional. Like when you talk about the war tr- chest, right? When we are strategizing about what does this look like? And I think that a lot of families don't do that, right? It's like, hey, this is how we got this. This is what we have. It's not a secret. How do we maintain this? How do we grow this? Let's put this in the trust. Like not only is it, do I have a will, but I'm going to also put that in the trust along with my assets, my charity, how I plan on passing this down. So I think um, when I was looking up trust even more, I realized like, oh my God, it was so many different types of trust. Like it's not a one size fit all. And you get multiple trusts, right? It's not like, oh, I just have one for this or one for that. You can um, have multiple different types of trust depending on what you're trying to protect, what your what your goal is. And I think that's the key thing. What are you trying to do? Right. Are you trying to shield from uh, legal implications? Are you trying to save on taxes? Are you trying to pass something down to your children? Is it about uh, secession out of the business? Like what is the purpose of your trust? Right. And so it does take strategy, thinking and planning. So. For sure. I'm glad you said that because what you really want to get out of that is the primary focus of the trust at its core is to pass down assets from one generation to the next. You have a, you name a beneficiary. Right. And so um, outside of everybody who's trying to let me set up the trust to own the business and this, 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 this and this and this. The primary focus of it is to. Pass down assets from me to my children to my grandchildren, et cetera. That's the primary focus of it, right? So uh, trust, revocable, right? I said, hey, let's build a revocable trust real quick. On a revocable trust, we set up a revocable trust as private, right? Just like you said, we keeping it outside, people outside of our business, yeah. especially the government. Or I don't want to say especially the government, but also the government. Yeah, for sure. It could it could be <laughs> any. also the people. Yeah, people who are trying to sue you, people right. who want you know it could be if anybody. If I own a lot of yeah. stuff, it keeps my family out of probate court. Yes, right. So if yes. I have you see you have heard all the stories. I want to say like Aretha, uh, a couple more Prince, right? Prince. Um, a lot of your wealth can be diluted based on court. Going yep. in, being drugged through probate yep. because you don't have a trust. Yeah. Um, the will is fine, but the will has to still go through probate. And then um, probate. So a lot of people think that um, wills will do it. People think that, hey, I'll do a will and testimony. That's a start. It's a start. Yeah. But it still <laughs> won't keep you out of probate. Mm-hmm. Will says, hey, Tariq requests, this is exactly how, I don't care how you write up a, a will, but this is how the court sees it, right? I'm no lawyer, but I know how the court see it. Um, Not yet. Dr. Black Wealth requests that my family receives my house, my businesses, my money. If somebody else comes up and say, hey, no, uh, I have rights to this. I have claims to this. We got to go to court to prove it. We got to go to court to... Um, we got to go to court to figure out who's going to get what. For sure. They can attest the will. Right. right? They can challenge it, basically, is what that is. And you can be in court 
and legal people get your money all yeah. day, every day. For sure. It happened with old girl. What's her what's her name? The um she was kinda like a Marilyn Monroe type and she mm-hmm. married the old the older oil tycoon. Mm-hmm. Um she has know. three names. She can she and a Nicole Smith. Oh, okay. Right? He she married him. Uh-huh. She was in the will and then his adult children um challenged it. Right. Oh wow. I would be Cause she was a young, she was like he was like old. He was like uh, geriatric. Uh, he was about to go. Yeah. So they were saying, "No, sorry, girl. Yeah. You oh, don't. Yeah. You don't get none of this." Even the ex-wife, they were all like, "No, she can't get any of this." Yeah. So they 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 contested it. She ended up getting something because I think she had a daughter. She had a child by about him. Yeah, he had to have been like eighty something years old. Oh Jesus. It happens, y'all. So trust. Um, so even with a will, for sure, you, you know that's what I'm saying. You got to get a trust, right? Trust secures the fact that hey, this thing is moving from here to here, yeah, or A, B to C, etc. So when we write up the trust, you do it with a lawyer. Don't if you ain't set it up with a lawyer, I question how valid it is, right? So do it with a lawyer. Yeah, it's you get to write out, right? It's a contract, so you get to write out what you want. You'll say stuff like, "Hey, in my trust, uh, my beneficiaries are my children and my heirs," right? Which to confirm mm-hmm. your lineage, your great children, your mm-hmm. grand grand, all that type of stuff. And you'll say, hey, we're going to move. They're going to have controlling assets over the business, the house, the money. Um, you can say, hey, at age 18, if something happened to me now, by the time I'm 18 or my kids are 18, they get a percentage of money every year. You can do it however you want to do it. You can say, hey, they get all the money right now. Um, a lot of people might be like, hey, do I need to trust while I'm living or while I'm young? For sure. Mm-hmm. Right. So in our trust, we got a plan for who says what and what happens to our children if in the event Absolutely. that both me and my wife pass at the same time. No, for sure. Um, and so and money set up for them to accommodate for me to accommodate whoever's going to take care of them. So my children don't lose a certain level of lifestyle that they sure, might and they're not to. thrown into the right. and I'm the not mix. putting a financial strain on the person that's who's going to take care, care of my them. kids. No, for sure. Right. So those those type of things, that's what it do. It and you want to think about that. You do. Yeah. You things happen. Do. You definitely things happen. Do. For sure. Right. Um, when should you set it up? Personally, I, probably when you start to think about it, right? I'm not going to be like, hey, at 18, of course, the financial planner in me is like, set it up right now. Set it up yeah. as soon as possible. Get your state plan together. Get life insurance, right? I think you should definitely talk about it every, once a year or sure. twice a year, depending on if you're whether you're single, whether you have children. Yeah. But you definitely want to have this conversation if you have uh, have accumulated any type of money, yeah. right? Not to say that it's only for people with money, but I mean it's it's kind of for people that have something to pass down and to yeah. lose, right? So if you but you can get life insurance, which will be something that absolutely, you can pass down. absolutely, you can get life insurance. For an inexpensive cost for maximum gain. Absolutely. So you could do that as well. Yeah. But if you get life insurance on someone else, even if you're, I guess you, yeah, you definitely could put it all you in the for trust. Sure. No, for sure. For sure. Yeah. So I'm gonna get y'all before we jump. But I don't know here. if it's okay. Never mind. I won't. We won't debate that. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll go. I'll go a different way. Because I was just. It costs. We probably do a full episode on this when we talk about the foundations. For sure. Yeah. 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 Okay. We but, gonna, yeah. Okay. So to give you, uh, give you a little social media game. So here you go, Rockefeller. Here's how you can build up your empire. If I start a business, we make a lot of money. <clears throat> we got business. We got assets. Assets meaning real estate, investments, other business we might own, whatever charity. that looks like. Charity, charity, right? You can give out to charity. All this stuff is owned in my trust. My trust owns it, right? I don't own it. So that means I'm just controlling it as the trustee, which is what I become. I have life insurance on me, my family, my whole family, children, Everybody, anybody that's named in the trust have life insurance. When we have life insurance, the beneficiary of the life insurance is the trust. God forbid my kids die young, the money we get from the life insurance goes inside the trust. I know at a certain point that I'm going to pass away. The money we get goes inside the trust. The trust owns the policy. You could get a whole life policy. So that means you could become your own bank, the the thing that you hear about everywhere, right? Which means you can borrow from the bank. So what happens if I do that? I pass away, my kids got life insurance, now my grandson is looking at 
us and saying, hey, I want to start a business. Yeah. We can give them a loan. Uh, we can give them a loan from the trust, which is basically from life insurance that says, hey, I'm going to give you this loan. This is what we, a loan. So it's, it's terms and conditions with it. For sure. Return on investment for you to be successful. Um, and you keep the money going because we got to keep this money thing going. I can't be the person who started. You become, uh, what's those people? The Vanderbilts. They had a lot of money and then they was priced out, basically. They withered away. Nobody in the family could keep up with it. I want to say his sons passed away. It was all kinds of stuff going on. Well, so, uh, you know, one, he's prominent on CNN now. Who won? Um, what's Silver his name? Silver Fox, they oh, call okay. him. He's a Vanderbilt. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know. <laughs> He doing good now. He, they making money. He doing pretty good. He For went to sure. the best schools. He, For sure. There's money still there. There's money around. The Vanderbilts are not poor. They ain't poor, poor. No. <laughs> <laughs> right? Uh, but you hear like, hey, the Vanderbilts lost their money. right? Yeah. But that was, if you research they lost the, they, they lost, they, the they lost a, a good amount of it, but they yeah. still have wealth. Out there, yeah. freight industry. So, but that's what you do. Everybody has life insurance. No matter what time, day, or age somebody passed, the trust is funded. And then people are starting businesses. I won't be the only one who started a business. So either somebody's going to continue to run my business, or if you guys decide to sell it, the trust gets the asset. Now we're still investing. We're making money. We're putting money in places, things, right? And we keep it going. And that's how you, that's really what, you, what it is that you do. You think about the Chick-fil-A model. They know they they welcome their uh, every generation of of their child or yeah. their children their legacy inside of there. Everybody don't run Chick Fil A. Everybody don't work in Chick Fil A. But everybody has a percentage of ownership in Chick Fil A. Those are things that keep the trust strong. It keeps your family lineage lo to last long for sure. And I think even on another Good scale day. for people <laughs> for people who even. Um, come into wealth, people who mm -hmm. win the lottery, people mm -hmm. who play professional sports, right? And you want to, you can also pay yourself out of a trust, right? To even keep yourself on a certain type of uh, monetary or budgetary mm -hmm. um, notion, right? So that, hey, you want to start paying friends and family, well, you can pay them out of a trust, right? You can I would create, set foundations for them. you know, a trust or a foundation for sure when we have that conversation. But yes, that's another way that you can also um, establish wealth in your lineage by setting up how you want it to operate. So even if you hurt yourself or mm -hmm. God forbid you pass, your trust can still pay out and do what it needs to do for, uh, everybody. for everybody. Yeah. For sure. We hope this was helpful for y'all. A little wealth tip on trust. And uh, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Hit that bell. Hit that bell. We can't do what we do without y'all subscribing. We appreciate y'all for sure, right? We've been on this journey a little over six or seven months, right? Something like that. Yeah. So um, we were being consistent. We've been loyal for you all, right? So if you guys like our videos, let us know. Leave a comment. Tell us what you think about trust. You start a trust, you got a trust, you get in the trust, you don't want a trust. Let us know. We'll talk about it. <laughs> we'll see y'all in the next episode, y'all. Don't forget to keep minding your biz.